I'm over here! Help me! If this man had really fallen through the ice, he'd have only a few minutes to survive and would be in desperate need of a fast rescue. That's why members of dive teams, sheriff's departments, and search and rescue teams from across the state have come to Cass Lake to bone up on their rescue procedures. Oh, it's very important for people to train for ice rescues, and there's not too many places in the state or in the Northland that you can train. So, um, and it's important for everybody to get in and practice their ice rescues, practice the things they don't use all year long in preparation for the rescue when they need it. We don't have a lot of practice doing it, so it's a day like this gives us the opportunity to get together as a team and practice our skills and get ready for things, just to get people un under the ice and familiar with uh, ice operations uh, is always useful. It's a, kind of a difficult type of diving, so the more practice you can get doing it, the better off you are. So it keeps us up, up on our diving procedures underneath the ice, as well as dealing with the cold and the elements. A day like today allows officials from a number of different agencies to come together and to learn from each other. Everybody brings their different experiences or different equipment they have. We train on things. The Coast Guard came today and did a demonstration with the equipment they use and how they do things. Uh, their people are in the water for two hours a day, usually out three or four days a week at least. So they have a lot of uh, expanded knowledge on it. Uh, but everybody brings a little bit to it and everybody learns from it. That's exactly right. The, the reason that Cass County puts on this, uh, this ice dive every year is to see what everybody else does and how it works, and uh, maybe somebody else would want to do the same thing. Many of the participants said they were thankful to have the opportunity to practice today because in a real emergency, there's no time to waste. For Lakeland News at 10, I'm Aaron McElhern.